Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I think today we can finally move on to the next region. But before I do that, I think I promised you a little sightseeing tour of Mykene. As a matter of fact, um, I think I can do even better than that. Because I noticed that right next to the palace of Agamemnon, we have the tomb of Agamemnon. And I don't believe we ever did any tomb exploration on camera. I remember I did like one tomb way back in Megaris, but I did it off camera and it was very small, so nothing too exciting. And ever since then I mostly ignored the tombs, so this might be a good opportunity to check out a tomb together. So yeah, um, we will have a look at this later, but we're going to start in the palace of Agamemnon. And um, in order to be undisturbed while uh, looking at this place, I already cleaned out the bandits. And by that I mean I recruited them, of course. Um, I did a few other landmarks as well. Um, I cleaned out the Fort Tyrannis over here, or Tyrins, and some smaller military camps so I could um, reduce the nation influence to zero and recruit the leader. Of course, they have already chosen a new one, but I, I have like the previous leader um, recruited right over here. Cordelian, warrior of Zeus. Again, just a purple guy. But I did get a few gold lieutenants. Um, I believe both of them were bandits in uh, the ruins of uh, Mykena. And most of these uh, new recruits are like bandits from this place. Um, yeah, look at all of these new <laughs> uh, recruits. This is probably the polar mark of the military fort. And I did get a new mercenary. I think I did uh, recruit this one off camera as well. So yeah, um, my, my army is growing um, and growing. But yeah, now let's um, have a look at this uh, ancient ruin because I mean, at this point it's already like 800 years old, give or take. So it's already ancient by ancient standards, I suppose. <laughs> Um, and obviously I have been looking around a little bit already because I picked up the treasures and so on. And then um, I have been trying to find a very particular place and landmark and I was hoping that, you know, it would be included in this recreation of this place. And well, I was not disappointed because it's right here. It's the famous Lion Gate of Mykene, which is still well, mostly intact today. I mean, today um, the lion heads are both missing. In this uh, time period, we still have at least one of the heads um, uh, intact. But yeah, we we still have like um, the rest of this gate in some uh, intact condition, and like parts of the walls. And that's pretty much all. So the entire like actual palace doesn't exist anymore. It's really just the foundations of the walls and um, we can very nicely see the uh, cyclopean uh, architecture here or the uh, cyclopean masonry which is like uh, the name the ancient greeks gave to this uh, architecture because the stones are so big they believe that only you know cyclops that is giants could have built them so at that point they weren't quite aware who built these walls because it was already like so long ago and as i mentioned earlier there was like a few hundred years of like dark ages in between where um, there was no literature no giant uh, urban uh, places or palaces or whatever so um, this must have been quite amazing to to the people back then but yeah, um, let's go in and explore a little bit. I hope no one notices me here. Well, there should be no one left to notice us. I mean, what I like about uh, this place is that it does look like noticeably different from the other Greek architecture we've seen before. So it's a lot rougher and more massive, I suppose. Um, we have these um, little horn-like features on top of um, the building. Um, like I said, the, the palace itself doesn't exist today anymore, but I, I feel that they've been trying to model it like after 
the remains of Minoan palaces because the Mycenaean culture and the Minoan culture were at least similar, or the Mycenaeans were influenced by Minoan art and architecture. So I think that's basically what they used as a template to recreate this palace because obviously we don't really know how it looked like because it's uh, pretty much gone. But um, it does look very Minoan, um, including like the wall paintings. I mean, it's stuff that you would find in the Palace of Knossos, for example. So I think that's where they got their inspiration. Oh, well, I didn't know this guy. And yeah, this is like one of uh, two bands that actually died when I took over this place because I think they fell down from, from a higher level. So. <laughs> Um, it was it was an accident. It was not done intentionally. But yeah, very nice paintings. Um, also, I noticed that we have like a um, bunch of ivory over here. <laughs> I am not sure if that is uh, the bandits' work, if they uh, left it here, or if it was just part of the palace. Not sure why this guy's here. I think this is like one of the prisoners, but I didn't actually kill that one. As a matter of fact, there's a lot more dead people in here than should be because... Yeah, I recruited all of these guys. I mean, I did um, reload the game in between, so I, I finished uh, the, the cleanup mission and then I uh, saved the game and then I left, so I think... They're just respawning all of these dead bodies, but I didn't actually kill them, so <laughs> they're basically duplicated now. And yeah, I did I did recruit the prisoners as well for what it's worth. Um, this is my my way of preventing them from running around and alerting um, the guards, because I had some bad experience with that before. So as soon as I free the prisoners, I just knock them out and recruit them as well. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find anything else of interest around here. There are some places uh, in these ruins I haven't been to yet. For example, the stuff over here. I mean, this looks pretty interesting. Oh yeah, I believe this is like um, some kind of uh, grave. This is also like part of the original um, palace and it's still like partially intact today. So this actually might be um, an entrance to the tomb as well, I'm guessing. So let's 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 have a look at it maybe. Oh, but no, this is this is not. Oh, hang on a second. I think we actually have have an open door over here. Yep, this is this is like. Another entrance into the tomb of Agamemnon, which is probably not actually the tomb of Agamemnon, um, like the, the person from the Iliad, but some other Mycenaean um, king. Right, I think I can probably destroy this right here. Yep, I can. Okay, got a bunch of loot here. Um all right I can't I can't move this from 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 this side so I have to enter from the other entrance and look at that Cassandra you totally destroyed these beautiful paintings and yeah you have like some of these famous bull leaping frescoes over here that are very like famous um, and that are from the palace of Knossos so that's basically where they took um, the inspiration for creating uh, these paintings for the video game. Um, but yeah, I guess I have to I have to enter from the other side. So let's uh, leave this place and let's head over to the other entrance because I would like to get that I need to stay hidden. ancient tablet. I mean, I only have like four ability points that I still haven't spent. <laughs> the reason why I haven't spent them yet is because I want like very particular skills or upgrades, but f 
first I need to upgrade my spear before I can take them. So that's why I'm saving them. Anyway, um, let's put a marker on this so I can properly find it. Okay, I guess that's where we have to go. Well, this looks just like the other entrance. And yeah, some of these um, uh, architectural features look like very original, like these uh, triangle-shaped openings above the doors. I mean, this one doesn't actually have one, but I think I've seen some of these earlier. Okay. Um, I gotta destroy this one over here. And another dead person just randomly lying around. What happened to all these people? Um, well, I guess I have to go in that direction, but let me check out this place as well. No, 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 don't, don't throw your torch away. Oh, um, <laughs> well, if that is supposed to be a trap, it's, it's not all that functional, to be honest, because it's too slow. And it doesn't even seem to hurt me. Well, no, it does, but you ha really have to stand on, on the pressure plates for quite some time for... For it to actually hurt you. Okay. Um, I I will take the hint and not step on them for too long. Let's see. Is this actually like a place where I need to go? It all seems kind of a dead end. This door is blocked. And I'm not I'm not seeing like any kind of opening. Nope, I think I think this is a dead end. Okay, um let's let's head back. I mean I can I can kinda move this, so I feel there's something that I that I'm supposed to do here. So let's see what I can do with this. Oh, I guess I have to like move it um, through these little Pathways. Let's do it and I don't know. Might be able to use it to climb over these wooden barricades, probably. Let's find out. Clearly there's more to this place than meets the eye. Okay, I can't can't fit through here apparently. And uh, there we go. I mean it looks like this is something I can climb, but um there must be a use for this object, right? So let's move it all the way over here. Okay. Um, well, I guess I can. I can keep on moving it in this direction. And this is probably like. The end. Something's blocking this. Huh, okay. Something is blocking it. Let's have a look at it. Hmm. So, am I supposed to move it even further into this direction, or can I just, like, use it to... Well, I can just use it to jump over here. Okay, so... That's basically what I had to do. Okay, and there we go. Treasure! 
kind of a lame treasure, but I'll take it. Um, okay, I think I can see the main attraction. So there's actually quite a bit of valuable stuff just lying around. <laughs> can I take some of it? Yes, I can. Lots of Rachme. Ooh! Well, you look at this. And, um, yes, this is like another hidden chamber or maybe a way out. But okay, let's have a look at the um, stairway over here. I mean, this is clearly like some precursor stuff, right? This is not Mekanian or anything. Okay, there we go. We found our our stele, but there's still like a treasure. Um, anyway, let's see what we can do about this situation here. Hmm. Won't budge. Okay, can't can't move it. Not in this direction, anyway. But it does move in this direction. Um, well, that's that's not enough to actually squeeze through here. Something's in the way. Yeah, it's a dead body. <laughs> I mean, there's clearly. Um, a staircase on this side. Something's blocking this. But I can't, can't actually uh, open it to get to the other side. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this might just be a way back to the other exit. And there's clearly no way to move these. I mean, can I, like, move them from here? Oh, okay. I didn't know that this was possible. All right. Let's, let's check out this corridor as well. Okay, yep, yeah, this is just... Just the exit. So I'll head back into the tomb and uh, try to get that remaining uh, treasure. All right, I'm back outside. I found the final treasure. It was a little bit difficult to find because it was like in a hidden chamber and you had to go through a hidden passage that was blocked by a few vases. So you had to destroy the vases and then you could go through the secret passage. But yeah, I guess I am done with the tomb. And I guess I am now just going to move on to my next destination, which is in Corinthia, to find a girl. Which is like the final lead that we got in Athens um, about our mother. So yeah, let's just uh, mark our destination and I'm just going to uh, move out. And I don't know, since it's probably going to take a few minutes until I arrive, I may want to talk a little bit more about the Mechanians, um, because it's actually a pretty fascinating subject matter. Corinthia, land of beautiful corruption. <laughs> well, that's charming. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see all that beautiful corruption. But yeah, um, the Mechanians, uh, what do we know about them? Well. First of all, they spoke some um, ancient form of Greek, which may seem obvious, but it isn't really because, um, as you probably know, most of the modern languages that are spoken in Europe today didn't exist in Europe, or well, at least their precursors didn't exist in Europe until about three to five thousand years ago, uh, which was the time of the Indo-European expansion. And um, at the same time, we had like the Uralic languages, um, which also expanded into parts of Europe, Northern Europe, like you know Finland, and so on. 
And um, basically, there's only like one free Indo-European language left in Europe today, which is Basque. Um, but um, originally, when people started to study the Mucanian culture, um, they assumed that it was some kind of pre in European um, civilization, kind of like the Etruscans. But when they deciphered the Mucanian language, they found out, well, this is actually an in European language and it is basically the precursor of uh, Greek. So that was a little bit of a surprise. And um, I will talk more about this later, but we have already arrived in Corinth, so maybe let's focus on this now. And I guess um, I will go straight for my uh, quest. Well, I may want to synchronize the viewpoint first and then I will go um, and check out that quest. And yeah, I will I will maybe take some time to talk about Mucanians and their relationship to um, the uh, archaic and classical Greek culture later. Corinth, a city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell it how it is, Cassandra. She doesn't seem to have a very high opinion about this place. Huh? I mean, it looks nice. I like it. We have the Temple of Apollo over here. Oh, is this is this area restricted? High security here. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we have like Spartan flags all over the place. Although the the Spartan flags in this place seem like distinctively more purple than they were before. Well, I guess the Spartan symbols are still red, it's just the flags that are purple, so I guess this is just the local color. And the Spartans just put their shields on it. So does this mean I can't actually synchronize this? Sacred cave. I mean, I may have to sneak up there, but when has this ever stopped me? Okay, this is actually not restricted. All right. Let's synchronize. And I have arrived at just the right time. We have beautiful sunset distance. I mean this game generally looks really pretty when it's like a sunrise or a sunset. So it's always nice to synchronize a viewpoint during these hours. But okay, now that we have synchronized this, um, let's check out our quest. Um, can we already see something else around here. It's like right next to the leader house, so that's interesting. Oh, um, it's like a little fountain. Of course, if it's right next to the leader house, um, does this mean that it's restricted as well? May as well Activate that quest for Neon. That's a nice name, is it not? <laughs> anyway, um, is it like in sight here? Okay, it's it's in here. Alkibiadi said the Etera here could help me find my mother. I should look around for Anthusa's whereabouts. Right, let's do it. Um, the moment I'm not seeing much to investigate. Don't come any oh, uh, sorry. Didn't come too close here. 
I don't think that's part of the investigation area. All right, there's something over here. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, love. <laughs> I'd search less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around the haybed? Well, tempting, but I really just need information. So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. Okay, um, can you tell me more about the Hetera? I haven't met any Hetera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, <laughs> streetwise. Can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. <laughs> you don't want to be an Hetera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. Well, well, I guess I understand what you mean. But can you help me find them? If the Etera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill. The Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. Okay, well, that's actually a pretty useful information you gave me here. And apparently it's all the information that I needed. Reach the actual current and look for clues on Anthusa. She fled to a safer area in Corinthia. She was last seen south of the actual currents. The Hetera have climbed the Temple of Aphrodite. Hmm, okay. Of course, I haven't uncovered a lot of landmarks yet, so... I'm not sure if I can already find it with that information. South of the Acro Corinth, you say. I mean, that's gotta be like, right, somewhere on top of this, because it's like the higher part of the city, like the, you know, like the Acropolis, the city on top of the hill, right? So I guess this is like the Acro Corinth. Um, the Terra have climbed at the Temple of Aphrodite. Um. I mean, could be any of these places, I suppose. So, why don't I try to get up here and synchronize this viewpoint and maybe this gives me a better idea what I'm looking for. So yeah, um, I'll be on my way again. And let's avoid that leader house. I just arrived here, I don't want to get into any trouble. Yeah, that looks like it would be a temple on top of that hill. So it might be the temple I'm looking for. Okay, apparently I'm already in proximity. So let's this see. This looks like the place. Yep, that is definitely the place where I'm supposed temple to look for her. That's what I'm looking for. And there's some bandits or whatever over there. Oh no, they're like animals, wolves. But okay, um And I do believe that the viewpoint is actually one of the places I'm supposed to visit for the Persian Prince question mark. Much cooler now without the sun. And again, this is probably not the best way up here. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a proper way to get uh, to this temple that doesn't involve free climbing. But I don't care. Okay, let's synchronize first and then we will check out um, the quest again. I'm here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. I can imagine. Well, look at this. 
so pretty. I know all the lights go on. Also, we have like another quest down there, apparently. Huh. Nice. General was also a poet. Okay, there's another note for our Persian friend. Themistocles on the Acro Current. No people on this earth were more dedicated to worship than the followers of Aphrodite. No matter the time, the men were worshipping with the women, and the women were the men only stopping to sleep or drink. I feel that worshipping here might be a metaphor. And it's not like <laughs> the usual type of worship um, that you probably think of. Um, but before I go down here again, I think I would like to um, skip until morning so I can have a proper look at this during full daylight. I mean, it's very nice to look at during uh, darkness as well, but I would like to see it during the day. So let's skip ahead a little bit. And now it's day again. Ah, so beautiful. Well, that's an oddly shaped cloud over there. But okay, no. I guess we will go down now. Of course, this statue doesn't look like it's actually Aphrodite. It looks more like Nike. But whatever. Not going to nitpick now. Um. Yeah, what what do we want to do first? I think I would like to uh, continue with my main mission first, and then we can check out the side missions. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. What's going on here? Kill the thugs threatening the worshippers. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped. Of course I don't, because um, I usually fight without one. But I don't need a weapon. I mean, look at me. <laughs> and maybe I can use, like, one of the skills that I never use, like the hero strike. There we go. Um, well, you're lucky. Oh, well, there's more of them. Okay. Whatever. I think I'm just going to kill these guys the old-fashioned way. Opportunity to use some skills? Well, that was impressive. I mean, since somebody asked me why I rarely use, you know, the actual skills, it's because most of them are kind of lethal. <laughs> like this one, for example. Even if I don't have a sword equipped, that's going to kill people. Who were they? And why were they looking for the Etera? Anyway, um, let's go and talk to the worshippers. Uh, yeah. They think this temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. <laughs> uh, the thieves are here and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers men in Corinth. Okay, um, well, can you tell me more about the monger? That's a stupid name. Um, yeah, tell me about this monger guy. Who walks around with a name like the monger? Don't let him hear you say that. Last time his name came out of a fool's mouth, the man's tongue was sliced out. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. Okay. He rules with one hand open for money and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. Well, I wonder if he has any connection to the cult. Because pretty much all the terrible people we've met so far have. But yeah, um, what exactly does he have to do with the Hetera? So he's hunting the Hetera? For money? Exactly. Since the Etera bring in so much Drachmi, he wants everything they control. 
the thieves are better off robbing them than us. Okay, and can you tell me where to find Anthusa? If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's everywhere. <laughs> Though I've never seen her. But the Edera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next <laughs> time. But I mean, just look at the pretty view. I can understand why they would come here. They won't be coming back here anytime soon. Well, they won't because they're dead. Except the one lucky guy that I that I recruited. Or were you talking about the Hetera? I guess maybe she meant them. Um, but okay, before we go back and check out that um, fountain, which we've already seen, let's check out the side mission over here. How can I help you? Oh, hang on a second! It's you! What are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you again in this place of all. Well, I guess I should have expected it because it's like the Temple of Aphrodite and I'm pretty sure um, you are quite the um, dedicated worshipper of her, huh? Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. Really? Yeah, these. What are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship in every port. I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. Okay, well, I guess I can do that for you. I'll help. But it's only that little box? One should never judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. <laughs> okay, well... And yeah, what exactly is this package? You said this package isn't from you. Why do you have it then? It simply came into my hands, that's <laughs> all. The Odoros asked for my help, like I'm asking for yours now. Why can't this the Odoros deliver it himself? You're a curious one, aren't you? Some questions don't have answers. Sometimes <laughs> things just are. Yeah, that is very, very suspicious, Ali. You know that? But, well, I guess I just can't say no to you. Um, but yeah, what is your favorite port? You've traveled a lot. What's your favorite place to go? Oh, a personal question. <laughs> Interesting. The world is filled with beautiful places. To pick my favorite would be like picking my favorite Etera. I could do it, but the answer changes based on my mood. Okay. Well, why don't you tell me what's your current favorite place, according to your current mood? Uh, but apparently he's not hes not going to tell me. But okay, um, I guess I will take care of your package. Uh, nice talking to you again, I guess. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger assets. <laughs> and I just tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Right. Don't forget, the Odoros. Right. Because you have nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> also, I have to say, I kind of admire how your toga, or whatever the Greek equivalent of that is, sticks to your body, even though it, it looks like it's going to just fall apart at any given second. <laughs> It looks like it's not really attached uh, quite well, but it, it seems to be uh, pretty stable. But okay, um, I guess we just got a highly suspicious uh, quest from Archibiades. Um, I guess I'll, I'll take care of that later. Um, where is it anyway? <laughs> okay. A handle with care. And I mean, this can't be that far away, right? So maybe I actually want to do this first before I continue with my hunt for Anthusa, which is like right over here. <gasps> anyway, I, I did not expect to see him again, and uh, not in this rather random place. So where are you going now? Can I talk to you again? No, I can't. But okay, well, um, we have arrived in Corinthia, and um, we have 
some stuff to do, uh, deliver a package, find our Hetera, and maybe we can find a few other side missions in the area. I mean, I have like these over here. Um, I don't know what to do with them, but since they are like in this area, I may actually want to do some of them. I don't know. Let me know what you want me to do with these quests. Are they like worthwhile doing? Should I do them now or should I wait until later? Because um, they kind of confuse me. <laughs> they just pop up in my journal. They are a different color, so I don't really know what's up with these quests. But um, let me know your opinion about it, whether I should uh, do them or not. But yeah, um, I guess for now we are going to end the episode here. And we will uh, explore Corinthia in greater detail in the next one. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.